Okay, so this is our game so far. Now let's build the nitrous system. So to build the smoke that comes out of the exhaust, when you use the nitrous, we're going to use a particle system. So create a particle system and mod modify it. So first I'm going to do the shape as a cone. I'm going to make the cone much smaller. As you may see, it's a little bit too big. So let's scale it down to maybe 0.1. Let's keep it at a loop. Lifetime is going to be at 1 and speed is going to be way high. Okay, so this is our particle system so far. It has a lifetime of uh, 0.1. The speed is at 20. The shape radius is at 0.1 and uh, the scale in the z-axis is 0.1. The current result is giving us this uh, particle system. Let's make a uh, material to apply into, into this particle system. Okay, create a new material, apply the material into the renderer, check emission. Okay, so this is how it should look like in the end. Maybe make this a little bit longer and position it into your exhaust. Okay, so maybe make the particles just a little bit smaller, maybe 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. Okay, so this is our particle system. Okay, so in your canvas, go to your UI and uh, create a slider. In this slider, we're going to make it first not interactable, transition none delete the background object and the handle area and we're just gonna leave the fill area we're gonna reset these and we're gonna drop in our uh, circle into the image tab we're gonna say filled and now the slider should fill in a radial form now it's not quite circle because this is not set to zero so everything should be set to zero and this should control the the width and height okay so we want to define the value 0.225 as a maximum value okay so now let's go back to coding in your code editor we're we're gonna need three blocks of code the first one is going to uh, calculate the value that the nitrous is so we're gonna do public void and we're going to call it activate nitrous. The next two methods we're going to need is one is going to be to start the emitter and the other one is going to be for stopping the emitter. So let's do public void start nitrous emitter and the other one is going to be to stop the emitter. So into the activate First, we're going to need a value that indicates the value of the nitrous. So we're going to call it nitrous value. And we're going to declare it above in here as a float variable in nitrous value. And also, we're going to need, we're going to need a boolean as a flag. So into the nitrous value, first we're going to check if we're not boosting and our maximum value. So nitrous value, as long as the nitrous value is below or equal to 10 for example you can do as much as you want if all of these conditions are true we are going to add to the nitrous value so the way we're going to add to the nitrous value is by using delta time so time dot delta time and we're going to do slash two because delta time goes kind of uh, fast now this next uh, else statement is going to indicate if we're boosting so if we are boosting that means this condition is false if we are boosting we are going to remove from the nitrous value so the way we're going to remove from the nitrous value is by saying nitrous value minus equal and in here we're going to have to clamp a uh, value so we're going to ask first if nitrous value is below or equal to zero question mark zero else do this one so we're just asking if this goes below zero if it does go below zero clamp it to back to zero if it is just remove from the time and we want to remove faster than we want than it adds 
So let's do it time slash three. And in here, we're going to do another if statement. First, we're going to ask if I'm dot boosting. If boosting is true, we are inside this uh, bracket. Now we want another if statement in here that asks if the nitrous value is above zero. So if nitrous value is bigger than zero, start emitter. Else, stop the emitter. And else, same, stop the emitter. Okay, now we're done with uh, this block of code. Now let's work in the start emitter. Right off the bat, we're going to ask if the flag is true. If the flag is true, just return. So nitrous flag return. If it's not, we want to access all our emitters. To access all of our emitters, we're going to use a for loop, a for loop that goes through all of the emitters. And in the end, we're going to say nitrous flag is equal to true. And also we want to boost the vehicle. So rigid body dot add force transform dot forward times I don't know 10,000 maybe and in the other stop we want to do the opposite of this one hit save and go to your unity into the camera controller if you're following uh, these tutorials in your boost FOV in your boost FOV we want to ask if the flag is true so all we want to ask in here if the flag is true so in in our controller nitrous flag if this is true lerp the function if it's not then simply go back and into our ui manager we want our nitrous ui to do just just to update the value so the way you update the value is by doing the nitrous slider which is a slider slider uh, component dot value is equal to uh, controller dot nitrous value now to get a value from 0 to 1 you do the value uh, slash the maximum value this is gonna hit so the maximum we already set it to 10 hit save and let's play okay Now our booster is all the way over at the maximum value. Now let's make it that the maximum value is somewhere in here because we don't want this, uh, this circle around our uh, RPM meter. So a simple fix for that is to divide this uh, nitrous value by a greater number. So let's do it like 45. And also don't forget to uncheck the play on awake in your particle system. So now let's try it. We have a maximum value at here. So now let's use it. It goes down. Let's make it go down a little bit quicker. Okay, so once we're out of nitrous, we just uh, stop boosting. And once we let go of uh, shift, it uh, fills back up. 